And in terms of student support, I'm the best. Joke lang. Joke lang. Tanggalin mo po yun. Hi everyone, my name is Julian and I'm from the International College of Auckland and I work as a marketing assistant. I started my application with GSIC Manila. I started my application um, mid-2015. Yeah, mid or late 2015 and then I left for New Zealand no February 2016 so one night when I got home from 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 work when I got home from work nilapit na mama ko sabi niya um, si ano si tita mo yung tita mo balak mag New Zealand ganyan ganyan tapos ikaw gusto mo ba so Napaisip ako kasi it has been really parang about one of my bucket list na to study to study abroad. So, sabi ko, kasi ayoko na rin naman mag-work, ayoko na mag-commute. Sige, aral na lang ako. So, that's when I started to get my documents assessed. Kasi free assessment naman siya. So, at least just to know na parang kung eligible ka or not to go to, go to New Zealand. May times na frustrating siya kasi I was a fresh grad. So, hindi po namin alam kung anong course yung kukunin ko. Because I took up um, communication arts here. And then, um, so parang wala po siyang magtugma dun sa mga courses na in-offer sa akin before. So, um, that time I had an offer for a creative practice course. Pero very matagal siya. Kasi that time I was, naghahabol ako ng no IELTS eh. So, um, nagahabol ako nun, wala pa kong offer, but then uh, one school, ICA, actually gave me an offer of place in business. So, from then, medyo naging smooth sailing na until the time I go to, um, until I leave to New Zealand. From the start, na nandun ako, kakarating ko, gusto ko na umuwi. As in literally na on the day that I arrived, gusto ko nang umuwi kasi siguro homesick and all of that. But you have to push through kasi you have to think na parang investment to, investment to for yourself. And then in the middle, you get to be okay, you get to be okay and then you eventually still slip on na parang mawawala ka sa purpose mo na parang Ma, ma, maka question mo sa mo bakit ako nandito pa din naman ako nasa Pilipinas with my family and all of that but then you get to realize that you're there because you have a purpose you get, you're there because um, you have a dream for yourself you have a, you have something you have something na gusto mong ma-accomplish for yourself it's more of a self fulfillment actually tapos um, with the support of the family na parang lalo na in times na parang matatanong mo na na or ma, madadoubt mo yung sarili mo na will I be able to make it here or will I be able to um, go through all of this you have to remember na yun, 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 you're doing this for yourself. Na parang kaya kang nga lumabas ng comfort zone mo para ma, ma discover mo pa kung ano yung kaya mong ma achieve, kaya mong magawa. And then eventually you'll get a, you'll find another comfort zone outside your comfort zone. So, kasi New Zealand, once you're there na. You, you'll consider it as a home because you'll meet people. You'll meet people who will become your family, who will be there to support you on the way. And then, of course, prayers. Prayers work. Sobra. Sobra, sobra. Because from there, because na very far your family mo from you, the only magahanap ka ng kakapitan mo eh. So, para sa akin dun kasi ako kumapit sa prayers. And they really work. Kasi kung hindi yun nag-work, wala ako dito ngayon. <laughs> the experience was very new. Kasi 
that time, you no know, 2016 in my class, I was the only Filipino. So, um, medyo nakakapanibago siya kasi wala akong kausap in Tagalog, first of all. And then, uh, pero it was very, uh, very exciting experience. Because not only you get to meet other people, especially other people yan from all walks of life, na ibang lahi na yan eh. So you get to know about their culture. You get to learn about what what food they eat and all of that. Tapos. Um, we were worry ko before is because I was a fresh grad. Um, you worry ko is paano ko lalaban sa job market paghahanap ng work. But um, praise God kasi if, um, one month pa lang ako is nakahanap ako ng casual job and then 6 months after around 6 months after the school ICA um, absorbed me. I mean, uh, got me as their part-time receptionist, and then after that, I they absorbed me to become a full-time um, employee, and now I'm working for them as a marketing assistant. I do suggest na yung mga engineers po natin to take um, to take a study pathway in New Zealand. Our um, our Courses in electrical engineering, civil engineering, and mechanical engineering are highly in demand in New Zealand. Talaga yung job prospects is there. Na parang when you go online to just type, for example, civil engineer, you get a lot of job openings. Tapos, um, they can only get to study one year with ICA because we do cross crediting of their courses, so at least it will save them some time. Once they completely enrolled with us, they immediately get um, a membership with Engineering New Zealand. So, if it's an engineering student, they get a, a membership in Engineering New Zealand automatically. So, they get the benefits of all that. It's up to the student if, once they graduate, if they continue that membership. Talaga. General benefit is that you get to work 20 hours a week, full time during um, school holidays, and then after you graduate, you get to you get to search, you get to have um, the chance to look for a full-time job. And I believe that our engineering students that can get a relevant employment after they study. Because as I have mentioned, engineering has a huge demand in the industry of New Zealand. We help the student in terms of the writing their CVs. Because it's yung format. Iba yung format na of the CVs na you, you, you're used to doing to there. So we also have workshops for that like CV writing or cover letter writing. And then we also assist the students kung kailangan nila ng guidance in terms of job interviews. We also help the students in terms of looking for let, let's say part-time jobs or full-time jobs once they finish. Our student support team I can say is goes above and beyond for our students and we make them as our priority and in terms of work well the students can work 20 hours per week and 40 and up and full time up to 40 hours during school holidays and then they can um, once they finish they can they can they are given the chance to look for a full-time job that is relevant with their studies so they can practice the things that they learned in school to the industry. ICA is now known as an engineering school so because we are the only PTE that offers the most um, and full engineering programs so all engineering programs civil electrical and mechanical are all in one roof. We offer um, cross credits and records of prior learning so students can only study for one year um, and the, the programs that we offer are unique in the industry and then um, our programs are developed according to the needs of the New Zealand industry. I would like to invite everyone to 
Golden Summit's the greatest New Zealand Education Expo happening on the 30th of March in Cebu at the Seda Hotel, 31st of March at Dusitani, Manila, and April 6th at Mulberry Suites in Cagayan de Oro. See you there!